Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey and this is Constructions. Now, this is a quite a difficult topic to do on uh, a device. I'll give it my best shot. Luckily, it doesn't come up very often. In fact, the 30 papers that I've gone through to find all these questions, um, I only found three. So, good thing it doesn't come up very often. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we need to use a ruler and compass, of which I have neither, to construct the perpendicular bisector of the line DE. You must show all your construction lines. I will show you how one would go about doing this if they did have a ruler and compass. I definitely think this is going to be my least watched video. You would put the needle on the point D, and then you would stretch your compass point out so that it's more than halfway. Somewhere like that should be fine. In fact, what I might do is just do it all the way to E. And then I'm going to draw a semicircle. That's not very good. Let's say something like that. Okay, that'll do. And then what I'll do is I'll put the needle on the other side and I will put the, uh, I'll make sure that the distance between the needle and the pencil stays exactly the same. And then I would draw another arc like that. And if I've done it correctly, the two intersection points, when joined together with a nice ruler, will come down like that and they will split the line DE in half and the red line will be perpendicular to DE. Okay, next question, you'd also do the same thing but the line is slanted. Uh, but no problem, we do exactly the same thing, we put our needle at point A we then draw a semicircle as long as it's more than halfway. That's a pretty good one, if, you, if I don't say so myself. And then we keep the distance between the pen and needle the same. And we draw a semicircle going back the other way. Like that for B. And then we draw clearly the intersection points and we draw a line which goes through and connects the two intersections and that line there will be at right angles and it will also be um, splitting the line AB in half. And the third and final question I found was one where you need to construct the bisector of an angle. So what you'll do is you'll put your needle at the corner of the angle, so here at B, and then I would just draw a semicircle which cuts both parts of the angle. And then I would put my needle here at that intersection, and I would draw a semicircle like so. And then I'll put my needle here, making sure that I keep the distance between the pen and the needle the same. And I would draw a semicircle like such. And where these two lines intersect, I would draw a straight line from the center of the angle to it. And we'll get that this angle here is the same as this angle here. So that red line has bisected the angle, it's split it in half. And we're done. Two skills there that you need to learn, how to construct a perpendicular bisector and how to bisect an angle. This topic doesn't come up very often, but now you know how to do it. Fantastic. Bye for now.